Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Let me start off with Ezekiel 3 and 11. Let me get Ezekiel. Brother, brother, why are we out here today? Why do you think we out here today? Spread the gospel. Okay, I like that answer. Okay. With that question, I'm going to answer that throughout the Bible. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 11. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 11. And go, get thee to them of the captivity, and to the children of thy people. It says, go, get to them of the children that are in captivity of thy people. Who are God's people? Who are the people that's in captivity? And who are thy people? The oppressed. The oppressed. And who would that be? The hood. The, the, the minorities. The what what the nationality of people would you say that is? Black, Hispanic. Uh, it, uh, I'll say black and Hispanic for right Black now. and Hispanic, correct, correct, correct. Now the question is, think about it right now. They got all the people that sound right now, but only you're the one that wants to listen. Do you know why? Do you know why? We'll prove it out the Bible. Give me Isaiah 6 and 9. Why is it right now? Think about it. It's a busy Saturday afternoon. It's 1.30 right now. You're the only one that's sitting right here that wants to listen. Why is it? Why is it designed that way? Isaiah 6 and 9. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. So it says, Go. We're commanded, Go. Teach the people. Hear ye indeed, but what? But understand not. But understand not. Why? Read on. And see ye indeed. See ye indeed, because I know damn that everybody sees us right now. I know everybody sees right now. Read. But perceive not. But perceive not. Why? Make the heart of this people fat. What? Make the heart of this people fat. Keep going. And make their ears heavy. God is saying, don't teach the people, but I don't want them to hear. Why is that? Read on. And shut their eyes. Why? Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart. Unless they want to repent, right. then they can come hear this word. Right. Okay? The question is, are you willing to repent? Yeah, you willing to repent? Give me Jeremiah 3.25. Because we gotta think about what's going on right now. Right, the right. state of our people. Right, right. Understand? We gotta look at us as a whole. A lot of people they say, oh, I'm good. Okay, if you good, fine. What about your people? What about your nation? No. Alright? You can't always just be just for self. Right. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 25. We lie down in our shame, and our confusion covereth us. We lie down in shame, and confusion covers over us. We're shame, why? We're the last hired, the first fire. Right. We live in dead projects with roach and ratchets and bed bugs. Look it up. Okay? That's shame. You got somebody else, and you got roaches? You know what I'm saying? What you gotta eat? Because even in our house, we're in a low state and a low income where it's hard to, to feed a full family. You see what I'm saying? And we're in confusion. Why? Why are we in confusion? Because think about it today. We march, we vote, we protest, but has that helped us? Why that hasn't helped us? It's going to tell you why, but I want to know why. Why that hasn't helped us? It's, 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 it's spiritual warfare. Finish reading. For we have sinned. For what? For we have sinned against the Lord our God. We have sinned against the Lord our God. Now you got to think about it. How have we have sinned against the Lord our God? You got to think about it. What has the nation of... Finish reading what you got. Finish reading. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, uh -huh. me and our fathers, for my youth even unto this day. So we've been generational sinning, okay? We've been sinning after sinning after sinning. How? Why? We'll go over, we'll go over a little history. Think about what just happened today. We got a new president, right? Right? Now, did you vote? You voted. Okay, okay. Do you know that, do you know that was a sin? 
Do you know that was a sin? Yes. It felt like it. It felt like it. Why you say it felt like it? Because I'm not supposed to go into both of them. Confusion. Let's confusion get... is of the devil. Correct, correct. Well, you won't be confused today. Right. You will not be confused today. You didn't want to vote. Break you, didn't, you didn't want to vote. You didn't I, have to vote. I ain't know. We're going to go through the first time voting happened in the Bible. Give me uh, 1 Samuel 8 and 1, 8 and 4. This is the first time uh, 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 when voting happened in the Bible. Let's see, let's see how God felt. You believe in God? I, I gotta ask. Some people say I believe in the higher power. I gotta ask. Okay. Let's read what let's read what happened when uh voting first started in the Bible. First Samuel chapter 8 and verse 4. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now us a king to judge us. So this is Israel. They said, look, Samuel, you're old. Your son is old. Give us a king. Okay, give us a king. One that could rule over us. Keep reading. To judge us like all the nations. Because that's what our president does, right? He's over us. He's to rule over us, to judge over us, right? Handle big matters that's above our pay grade, right? Keep reading. But the thing this Please, Samuel. When it could please Samuel, okay. When they said, give us a king to judge us. Uh-huh. And Samuel prayed. Sister, sister, did you vote? Come here, let me talk. Let's talk about voting. We know. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the so Samuel being a prophet, he prayed to the Lord. It could please Samuel. He didn't like that. So he went to the choir of the Lord about it. Let's see what the Lord said. And the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. Uh-huh. For they have not rejected thee. They didn't reject you, Samuel. Keep going. But they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. God is supposed to be our president. God right. is supposed to rule over us. Right. Right. So why the hell, why the hell are we voting for another slave owner? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Read that again. Verse 7. Uh, and the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of all the people and all that they say unto thee. Notice, God says, hearken unto them. Give them what they want. Right. You want somebody to rule over them? Okay, give them what they want. Right. Keep reading. For they have not rejected thee. They didn't reject you, Samuel. Read on. But they have rejected me. That I should not reign over them. That's it. So you gotta think about it. When we vote, what are we voting for? To reject God. No, I'm just asking for you. you like, like rights and stuff. So for, for rights, like what? Like what? For what? Oh, um, I would say like I don't know, healthcare. Let me ask you this. Let me tell you this. Now, when we vote, when we vote, there's supposed to be qualities of a person we're supposed to have over us. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get that as well. You know what I want? Let's get that as well, because when we have somebody, because there is supposed to be structure, there is supposed to be order, okay? So let's get, what type of man, what type of qualities we're supposed to have to rule over us? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 15. You know, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, uh -huh. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. God is saying, you set over a man who's God who chooses. You want to set up a king, you got to be one who God chooses. Read on. One from among thy brethren. One from among our brethren. Okay, read on. Shalt thou set king over thee. So now, so now, now, the Bible says you want to set up a ruler, you want to set up a king, they got to be one from your brethren, right? All right. But I know how the people think. I know how people think. They say, what about Obama? No. Right? Why you say no? Why you say no? Man, it was too many, too many political figures uh, involved, like the House and the Senate. It was too much involved. He wasn't ruling nothing. Well, he wasn't what is ruling one nothing. law? What is one law that Obama passed? Because you think about it. If a person says, "Look, we got what we wanted," we had a first black president, right? 
No, that's I don't like that thought of a you black might, person. Listen, listen, you might not like that thought, but other like people, this. other people look at him as that's God. Right, right. Him, Michelle Obama, they look at them as God. They not. So hear me, give me the law of what Obama wrote in the video games. Because think about it, when Obama became president, what did he do? He, you know, pa he passed the law. Ah, so that's, and this is how we know. It's him. Mention in the church that got the, the preacher can't go against the gay stuff that they signed in the laws with the rules they mentioned it all that. Right. It's crazy. Right. So hear me. So this is how we know because it says set up a king of thy people, which I have chosen. Right. So we got to know. Let's say if a person says, well, I voted for Obama. Okay, let's see. Let's see what a law that he passed that God hates. Right. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So that's how we know for a clear fact God did not choose Obama. That's right. Okay? That's how we know that for a clear fact. Give me Hosea 8 and 4. Hosea 8 and 4. I'm sorry. Yes, read what you got. Hosea 8 and 4. Hosea chapter 8 and verse 4. They have set up kings, but not by me. We set up kings. You you said you voted. That wasn't of God. God didn't set him in order for you to rule over him. That's not the one who has a mind. He has someone set in mind to rule over us. And trust me, it's not the white man. Right. Okay? You out your damn mind and you think a white man is going to save the nation of Israel. That's right. Let's get that clear. Read. They have set up kings. Not by me. Uh huh. They have made princes, and I knew it not. God says, I knew them not. Give me 13 and 9. 13 and 9. Hosea, chapter 13 and verse 9. Oh, Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself. You know, we vote, we're destroying ourselves. You know. Just think about it. We're voting for a person that can rule over us. How can they save us? Can they get us out of poverty? Can they give us better education? Can they give us better food? Only you could do that. Only we could do that, right. But from God. But from God. So you gotta think about it. You have to think about it. What's the purpose of us voting? That's vain help. That's vain hope. Right. Finish reading. Oh Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help. And what? But in me is thine help. Keep going. Nah, keep going. Keep going. Verse 10. I will be thy king. He says, I will be your king. He says, straight up. Read it again. <laughs> I will be thy king. Keep going. <laughs> Where is any other that may save you? Who else can save you? What's your name? Cornelius. Cornelius. Who else can save you, Cornelius? God. Keep going. And thy judges of whom thou saidest. Give me a king and princes. I gave thee a king in my anger. He gave us a king in our anger. Because it's like, all right, you want to listen to me? Fine. Let's see if that white man can help you. Right. Has, he, has any president so far helped us whatsoever? Right. No. Limitations 417. Since, since we've been here. Limitations 417. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's Limitations. Bible says. Chapter 4 and verse 17. As for us. As for us, the nation of Israel. Keep reading. Our eyes as yet fail for a vain hope. For a vain hope. Because think about it. This is like what, our 45th president now? Right. Which one of them helped us? It's been a repeating pattern, generational curse after curse, where we're looking for a man to save us. Okay? That's blasphemy. It is blasphemy. You damn right it's blasphemy. Right. <laughs> Finish reading. And our watching. And our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. That could what? That could not save us. You gotta let that echo out sometimes. Cause you gotta think about it. What nation has saved us? Right. Right. That one. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.